Hey what's up guys, OSJ here with the 20 best Amiga platform games in order of greatness. But before we get into that, I have a question. Are you subscribed? And if not, why not? I'm just trying to build my channel and I have been looking at the YouTube analysis and it seems that 76.5% of my views come from unsubscribed watchers. Obviously I'm still grateful for reviews but I want to turn those unsubbed into subbed. So I'm asking you, one, why have you not subscribed? And two, how do I make you subscribe? So if you could drop me a comment in the comments below saying what I do well and what you think I could do better and sorry I can't change my voice and I'll try my best to win you lot over and bring you on board as an old style gaming so anyway let's get back to the video the Amiga was renowned for having a great catalogue of platform games and these are what I would consider the 20 best Amiga platform games in order of greatness So let's start in 20th position with Arabian Nights. This is probably one of the most overlooked games on the list, but it's a classy platform game with nice speed and graphics. Look closely and you will see that the main character is almost the same as Soccer Kid who was made by the same people. The only letdown for me on this game is the flying carpet stage, but still worth a play. Nineteenth place is taken by Leander. As you will see in this video there are a lot of contenders for best looking platform game and Leander is right up there with the best as far as looks go but it's maybe not for everyone as far as platform games go as it's a little slow. And one more thing about this game, it has an option for two button controls which really adds to any platform game. Rainbow Islands takes 18th place and it's a brilliant conversion of a super popular arcade game. While I've never been a real fan of the game, I have to admit that the dev guys got this so right, from the looks and the music to the almost arcade perfect gameplay. Seventeen position is taken by Turrican 3. Come on, we all know that all three Turricans is going to be on this list, and here we have the third in the series. This is the Amiga part of Mega Turrican for the Mega Drive. Whilst it's not as good as its predecessors, or even Mega Turrican, it's still a very good platform shooter, and definitely deserves a place on this list. In 16th place we have Putty. This is a truly original game with some brilliant graphics and some super cool game mechanics. Not for everyone though as I know some of my mates couldn't stand this game, but for me it's one of those games that brings back great memories. Shadow of the Beast is in 15th place. This for me is the best of the three games released on the Amiga. The first game was truly beautiful but a bit boring. The second game too was great looking but got the difficulty level so wrong. This one just got the balance right and it's the only one of the three that I have ever played right to the end. Fourteen position is taken by Snow Bros. This is one of the most arcade perfect conversions on the Amiga. The game was developed during the Amiga's lifespan but never released. Luckily we got an unofficial release in 2006. It's a great platform game and I never get tired of playing even today. It's so much fun.
In 13th place is Quack, proper simple platform game here from Team 17. It's much in the style of Bubble Bobble, but at the same time different enough to stand out from other Bubble Bobble clones. It's really straightforward, no in-depth thinking involved, which sometimes is nice as you can just fire it up, relax and play. The first Samurai is in 12th place. Absolutely beautiful game here that plays as good now if not better than when I was young. I say that because I remember struggling with the controls and gameplay difficulty when I was young. But after replaying it now I'm older it's a lot easier. But still really hard if that makes sense. Anyway, top class platform action here. Eleventh position is taken by the Lost Vikings. As with most games on this list, this is on par with what we would expect from the Mega Drive and SNES platforms. The difficulty level is just right and the mix of humour and puzzles is perfect. In 10th place we have Putty Squad. This was another game that was not released during the Amiga years. All we got was a demo. It literally had me salivating waiting for this game to be released. Sadly though, it never came out until 2013 when System 3 decided to finish it. Well I have to say it was worth a wait. It's free on their site so if you haven't played this, get over there and get it. <laughs> Traps and Treasures in 9th place. Great puzzle platformer here that not only has class graphics but sound and music to match. The game mode is a bit difficult but ultimately rewarding. The only down point for me is that the one button control for up and jump is awkward sometimes. position is taken by Lionheart. This game wins overall for graphics because let's face it, it doesn't get much better than this on the Amiga. Whilst the gameplay doesn't quite live up to the looks, it's still good enough to make this one quality platform experience. In 7th place we have Benefactor. I know I've said this before, but this was a game that I had never played or even heard of back in the day, but after recently finding it, it's become one of my most played Amiga games. The gameplay is off the map with just the right level of difficulty to make you angry but not give up. Turreton takes 6th place. This was the original game ported from the C64 Classic. It's an awesome game as we would expect from Manfred Trends with a brilliant soundtrack from the great Chris Hulsbeck. The gameplay is smooth and the whole experience is one you walk away from content.
Fifth position is taken by Vodland, another almost arcade perfect conversion here of a popular game that I never played. Now I can only put this down for the fact, for me, that Bubble Bobble was the best of its kind so I never bothered with others, which is a shame because now I've played it, I've found that it's an excellent game in its own right. <laughs> Bubble Bobble takes 4th place. As I've just said previously, Bubble Bobble was my favourite game of its type. The cute graphics were on par with the arcade, and the 2 player co-op gameplay is why I loved it so much. This is a game that I not only love on the Amiga, but almost on every system. <laughs> In third place is Super Frog. Now Super Frog is a weird one for me and it's mostly high for my mates as I never really got into it. It's all a bit nice for me but I can't deny that it's a super looking playing and sounding game that many people would maybe have top of this list. Second place is taken by Rough and Tumble. Proper nice 16 bit graphics here with real speed and action. The game is super tough but one that I still love even though it can become infuriating when you die. The music and sound effects are also a class. Now in first position we have Turrican 2. For me this is as perfect as a platform game can get. Again Manfred trends so the graphics and gameplay are outstanding but the true star of the game is the Who's Beck soundtrack which is probably his best work ever. Ok that's it for this video, let me know in the comments below what your favourite Amiga platform games were and if you haven't already please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like my stuff. Till next time this is OSG signing out. Ow.